Now, once you're wet on Christmas Island, there's a very good chance you'll stay wet, for the coastal and marine environment here is unbelievably pristine. Extending 50 metres seaward from the low water mark, the National Park's marine zone protects 42 kilometres of the island's coastline. Flying Fish Cove is a working port, but there are few safer places to go paddling. Fewer still as outstanding on snorkel. But to get the most out of this sublime undersea world, you'll need to kit up for scuba. Wet and dry adventures head out into the wild blue yonder pretty much every day. With dive sites all around the island, they can always find somewhere in the lee. So does the fringing reef here go all the way around the island? It certainly does, it goes all the way around the coastline. With 4,000 dives under her weight belt, it's a wonder Linny Jennings hasn't developed gills. I've been diving here for about 12 years now and I wouldn't have it any other way. There are more than 200 species of coral here and the shapes their colonies form vary quite dramatically. Their growth is entirely dependent on the ocean conditions, the level of sediment in the water and the amount of sunlight they receive. But the colour variation you see before you comes from the zooxanthellae, a single-celled algae that lives in the tissue of each and every polyp in a colony. All hard corals have a skeleton that's made from limestone. But the polyps that make up these delicate sea fans are supported by a frame of gorgonium, a flexible substance that's similar to human fingernails. They use their net-like structure to good advantage, filtering plankton as it drifts by on the ocean's currents. They are a real feature on several of the drop-offs around Christmas, as are these wondrous feather stars. They're members of the starfish family, but unlike your more traditional species that move along the ground to feed, feather stars perch with their arms held high, fishing from the passing current. Depending on the species and the health of the individual, feather stars can have anywhere from 20 to 200 arms. Soft corals are here in all their glory, dancing to the rhythm of the sea. And there are fish nearly everywhere you look. If you were a fish, which one would you be? Oh, well, that's, that's a good one. I'd be a, a lion fish. fish. You'd be a lion fish? Yeah, or show. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'd be just a little anemone. Oh. A little anemone. A homebody that stays <laughs> in the one spot. <laughs> Needless to say, you'll see both species here, and quite a few more of sides. 575 at last count, which, considering the size of the habitat, is really incredibly impressive a third of the species on the Great Barrier Reef in an area a fraction of the size. Some are solitary characters. Others like to hang with a mate. And yet more prefer the safety that's afforded when you move as one with the pack. Fusiliers are impossible to ignore, but difficult to playfully chase. They're built for speed in order to avoid predators of all persuasions. Black triggers are a little easier to follow and clearly more concerned about eating than being eaten themselves. A great place to encounter lots of small reef fish is the wreck of the Eidsvold, a Norwegian phosphate freighter the Japanese sunk during the Second World War. It's covered in coral, but you can still make out sections of the structure lying on the edge of the reef. There's also a site on the northern side of the island where you'll meet a school of giant trevallies. But if you want to swim with something even bigger, you'll need to visit Christmas Island in the wet. What's the biggest thing you've ever seen in the ocean? Well, the biggest thing is the, the largest fish in the ocean, the gentle giant, the whale shark. Oh, really? Oh, they're them up fantastic. Here. They come here from November through to April, May. There are no guarantees you'll get to swim with these magnificent creatures, but if you do, well, let's just say you won't forget the experience in a hurry. And I've seen them every year, but every time I see them, it's like the first time. They're just beautiful. Mm -hmm. 